Uh, Celtics won this incredible series and a little bit of a dud of a game seven, but you could sort of see it coming. They're strangling defense against Milwaukee, limiting their shot attempts, limiting them in terms of good shots they could get off. And aside from Giannis Antetokounmpo, Milwaukee just couldn't generate a lot of offense. They really couldn't. And, and Matt, when you're watching the game, first thing come to mind for me is giving Ime Adoka a lot of credit because when he took over the job, the casual fan didn't know who he was and what his voice could really do. And then you think about Marcus Smart calling out Jalen Brown and, and Jason Tatum throughout the season about are they going to share the ball. And then the local media is like, oh, these two can't work together. So that's why I go back to the head coach when we talk about take care of your business in your house. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what the Celtics did. They took care of their business. And then once they fixed their business, which was what? Get back to playing Celtic defense to the question you asked. The defense is incredible. And then you have a guy, defensive player, uh, Marcus Smart. He make a mistake, doesn't worry about it, gets back in there and gets another steal, another big rebound. You and I always talk about his three-point shot may not always be the great percentage, but he right. always makes a timely three. So all that being said, if you're a Celtic fan, you weather the storm and you stay patient. And offensively, Jason Tatum did not have the scoring total he's had mm -hmm. the previous three games, mm -hmm. three straight games of 30 or more. He had 46 in game six, mm -hmm. but has read the game incredibly well the last two games yes. when they needed him to score, when they identified mismatches in game six. He did that tonight. He was a distributor. He found the three-point shooters, and the Celtics hit a franchise record 22 threes as a result on 55 attempts. And, and Matt, it, what people don't understand if you're watching the game, there's a, there's a point where Jason drove to the basket, and he kicked it out to Williams twice, and he missed the corner threes. That was the right play. Mm -hmm. And by continuing to make the right play, the next person makes a three. Then the ball stays hot and it continues to move. Then the next person makes a three. So then you kind of forget about Grant Williams missing those two threes because someone else has made four in a row. And now you come up with 22 threes throughout the game. And Grant Williams had the game of his life. A lot of folks, casual NBA fans, were introduced right. to Grant Williams in, the, in this one. Seven of 18 from three-point range. 10 of 22 from the field. Postseason career high, 27 points for him. Again, the Celtics set a franchise record for threes made in a playoff game with 22 and a Game 7 record uh, for makes and attempts. I say 25? 22 of 55. That's Oof. never happened before in a Game 7. And part of the three-point story oh, is the winning. disparity <laughs> between what the Celtics Oof. were doing and what Milwaukee was doing. Milwaukee had just seven, remember, in Game 6. Mm -hmm. Four of 33 in this game. And I don't know how you feel about this. Some of this has to do with the absence of Chris Middleton. There's just not a lot of shot-making on the floor. They're going to, you know basically wall up, as we've heard, against Giannis Antetokounmpo and try to prevent him from distributing. It is a valid point, Matt, but we know uh, the Milwaukee Bucks as champions would never make that excuse not have one of their key players because they've been playing so well, and obviously they could have won this game. So you have to give the Celtics more credit because they've earned a game seven. And that's why people, we talk about how excited we were today we can have two game sevens because all season long, this is what you play for. Yep. And just talking to people on the phone who at the game, they said that place was rocking and loud. So you got off to a fast start. Your superstar was playing well, even though he wasn't shooting the ball well, but he was playing the game the right way, and good things continue to happen.